saw this stand-up comedian who said, that's gonna take too long. Let's just get to the freaking reaction. <laughs> okay. Just Today we're actually an informational video. It's called Sun Temple. Uh Konark? Konark? Konark in Odisha. Uh Ancient Wonder of India. The Sun Temple. So this is a, a temple uh that we need to know about okay. and that we don't know about. Oh, so we've not seen it. By the way, maybe we have. Remember the reaction we did for the islands? Yes. Got a DM from somebody from the islands. And they're inviting us. Yep. Are they paying for our flight? No. Ah. And apparently it's pretty pricey and you can only fly there from New Delhi. See you next week. <laughs> Here we go. It's not just Air India, right? <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> Here we go. Damn! Nice. I was just about to say it. If you beat me to it. Odisha, a state that is historically rich and culturally diverse. A place with an immense tourism potential. However, for many visitors, their itinerary to Odisha is limited to exploring landmarks in cities like Bhubaneswar and Puri. But the fact of the matter is that when it comes to heritage, Odisha has an astonishing number of hidden gems tucked away in different corners of the state. When it comes to tourism, the magnificent state of wow. Odisha is touted as India's best kept secret. If you have had the privilege of visiting Odisha, you would agree that it is the land of cathartic spiritual experiences and immortal architecture. Worship of the Sun God has been popular in India since time immemorial, and perhaps the most famed Sun Temple in India is the one in Konark, Odisha. Wow. A place that most of us have read about and are familiar with. Look at that. The Konark Sun Temple is listed as the UNESCO World Heritage Site, a must visit for every traveler. Konark is uh, popularly referred to as the Black Pagoda. And I was once trying to find out why it was referred to because it didn't look black to me. But then I realized that you know, in the ancient days when people came by ships and boats, it looked like a huge towering black structure. So what you see Konark today, it is almost half the size it was. Originally, Konark looked like a chariot which was about to fly off to the sky. Wow. No trip to Odisha would be complete without visiting this iconic temple. Its architectural splendor wow. has to be seen to be believed. But its greatness can be felt only when you see it with your own eyes. No photos or video can justify the grandeur of this sure. 13th century old temple. The Konark temple is so huge that it can easily be seen from the market outside the main campus. Enter the main gate and you would be spellbound by what meets your eye. The main entrance is flanked by interesting structures on both sides. It sends across a powerful message. Here you see a lion and an elephant oh, trampling over a man. Yeah. It is believed that the lion represents pride, the elephant symbolizes wealth, and together they destroy a human being. Mm. So pride and wealth can be your undoing. Thought-provoking, isn't it? But the main temple is even more interesting, built entirely in stone. How long did it take? It is a monumental representation of the sun god Surya's colossal years, chariot with its 12 pairs of oh wheels being drawn goodness. by seven galloping horses. These seven horses are understood to represent the days of the week, while the 12 pairs of wheels signify the 12 months of the year. Some also believe that 24 wheels signify the hours of a day. Interestingly, the That's wheels are designed in such a way that one can gauge the time of day by looking at the shadow art. cast on the spoke of the wheels by the sun. Intricate details, the walls of the temple, which was built in 1278 by King Narasimha I, are decorated with sophisticated and refined sculptures of wow. activities from that era. Mm. 
be it of a woman wearing high heels, involved in martial arts, or carrying portable mirrors, if you look closely at the sculptures, you would be in awe of the craftsmanship. These visually overwhelming sculptural narratives give a precious insight into the lifestyle and religious as well as political practices of those living in that period. The Sun Temple, constructed by 1200 artisans in 12 years, comprises several distinct and well-organized spatial units, such as the Dance Hall and the Audience Hall. Did it say 12 years? You can spot various subsidiary structures within the enclosed area, while some parts of the temple have been years? damaged over time. It looks magnificent and continues to draw tourists the world over. Now. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And here's a pro tip. Whenever you plan to visit the Sun Temple, stay off for the spectacular oh, light cool. and sound show in the evening. Mm. A masterpiece of creative genius in both conception and realization. What a gorgeous singer. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that was absolutely magnificent all of that was created in 12 years that seems crazy fast for crazy something that big fast and that intricately i was detailed. thinking like 200 years in intricately detailed in stone we're not just talking about wood carving or painting we're talking about stone carving yeah that's mind-boggling the intricate detail in that is mind-boggling in fact they must have been working day and night 1,200 people a day. <laughs> just non-stop working. Because <laughs> that, that seems crazy fast. And the other thing as I'm looking at it, because it's so sad when you see things like you see the, the horse there and then the next horse and part of the body is gone. Yeah. I, I wonder what they- It was double in size. Yeah, what, what can you do for, I'm sure people are working on it, to preserve something like that's made of stone without degrading the actual artwork itself. Yep. Because Dime is cruel, yeah. and, and so many beautiful pieces of work just degrade. Yeah, and it's probably this as well, but like we've seen so many things from India and around the world. The, the way you see them now is not how they were. They, no. Most stuff was extremely colorful. Yeah, it and, was and much painted. different then. Yeah. But obviously now, obviously that's war, the paints wore off. and Yeah, I'm sure it, the people of the day, if they saw it now, would weep. Yeah. Because it's nothing as beautiful as it was when no, it was made. No, it's absolutely gorgeous now, but like yeah. stuff in like ancient Egypt, stuff in like South America, stuff in yeah. all these places, India was just vibrant colors yeah. all over. Um, but that's, if, if we ever get to addition, I hope we do one day, uh, I would love to be able to go to that. Yeah, I would love to see, see that place. Seeing something like that, that's that intricate detail that's just so impressive to me. Yep, I agree. Yeah. And it, 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 it's a primary thing, it's like all things artistic, is the, the connectivity of the human experience. And I love seeing things that are that ancient. We don't have anything like that in America. You can you can see the difference when you go to New York because in New York, you see things that are much older than here <coughs> on the West Coast. And, but nothing compared to when you go to some place like that. Or England even. And yeah, yeah, or England even. And you can put your hand on something and know there were people touching and working on this hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And now I'm, I'm touching the exact Sometimes same thing. thousands of years right. ago. Right, yeah, it's in, amazing. In, in certain, uh, India obviously being one of them, uh, being such an old civilization. Yeah. America's just a tiny little baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we've never done anything wrong. No, of course. <laughs> Flawless. Uh, what, gen what genocide? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, let us know what other informational videos and other of temples, of anything uh, from any state that we should react to uh, down below. Just